I just wanted to welcome everyone to Courthouse Square on behalf of AIG, the building owner. I would like to welcome all of you to this ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, my name is John Kazalka from CBRE. We are the commercial real estate company that is responsible for the leasing and management of the property. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to thank the following companies. AIG, who believed in Wilmington and invested in this property. Wilmington is on the upswing with construction of new residential units. The downtown area is clean and safe thanks to Downtown Visions and their hard work in the business community and with the Wilmington Police Department. I'd also like to thank MetLife, who saw the vision of this property before renovation started and who stayed in the building while it was renovated, and that was no easy task. TV Ball Associates. TV Ball was chosen as the architect for the property, and they did great architectural work. You can see with the two-story atrium here that was put on, the building as well as all the renovations was TV Ball's work. I'd also like to thank Bala Engineering. Bala Engineering was responsible for all the excellent upgrades in the mechanical system here from heating and air conditioning. All those upgrades were part of Bala Engineering's work. I'd also like to thank Wilson Construction for their superb construction work. Recently the Delaware Contractors Association announced that Wilson Construction and Courthouse Square have been selected to receive the prestigious 2016 Construction Excellence Award. This award recognizes projects that bring distinction, skill, quality, and integrity to the Delaware construction industry. I'd also like to thank the Wilmington Parking Authority under Stan Soja for the renovations to the garage. And as you can see over to my right, the plaza is being renovated as we speak. And eventually that will have all outdoor seating uh, where you'll be able to sit and, and enjoy a, a nice uh, fall day. I'd also like to thank the CBRE property management team and the building staff who kept everyone safe during these renovations. Uh, and also the building security team who many days sat in the lobby with no air conditioning or no heat and it was, it was not easy. So I thank you for that. Also, I'd like to just point out what this investment has made and what it really means to our community. Um, ownership, AIG, has spent over $10 million renovating this property to date. Contractors have been working at this property for the past two years, and work continues with approximately four floors soon to be renovated. To date, the following improvements have been completed. Um, the new exterior facade work, and new landscaping, a new lobby, as you can see, the two-story atrium, a new plaza area with outdoor seating is coming. We have new elevators and a uh, destination type elevator system, which is the first in Wilmington. It's, uh, it's different than just pressing a button. You tell it what floor you want to go to and it just uh, picks you up and takes you to that floor. Uh, we have a new heating and cooling system. And the conference center, which is on the top floor of the building, has been totally redone. And that's where we're going to have lunch on the top floor in the conference center. Today, we've leased space to the following companies. Uh, MetLife, who has their name on the building. The law firm of K&L Gates is on the ninth floor. The law firm of White & Williams just signed a lease for the eighth floor, and they are under construction as we speak. Old Republic National Title Insurance Company is on the ground floor, and they've signed a lease. And, and what's nice is we are currently negotiating leases for three additional floors as we speak in the building. So from a commercial realtor's uh, standpoint, this building has been uh, just well received and, and is doing great. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Jeff Flynn. Uh, Jeff is the director of the Office of Economic Development for the city of Wilmington. Jeff works very hard to attract and retain companies in the city of Wilmington. So without further ado, Jeff. Uh, uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you, John, for this, those kind remarks. Um, I, was, I was listening to all the recognitions that John read off, and I'm always reminded at, at events like this, and when I hear recognitions, how many people it takes 
how many how the effort that goes into doing any project. So congrats to everybody, and um, especially you know the, the TV Ball team and uh, anybody else who had a hand in delivering this project. It looks great. Um, I particularly like the facade lights. Uh, I have a south-facing window uh, out of my office at City Hall, and at night. Um, on the upper crown of the building, there are these beautiful accent blue lights, and it looks it looks fantastic. So, um, on behalf of Mayor Williams, I'd like to thank AIG for their investment in our city. And uh, the mayor, I understand the mayor was supposed to be here this morning. Um, he he could not be because um, he had to have a, a procedure done. And um, one of my colleagues was mentioning earlier that he got something caught in his eye. So we're. Uh, best wishes to him in that recovery. Um, but so I think this is a good time for the building to be announcing um, the renovations for the building because there's a lot going on in, in the neighborhood here. Um, we've got the, uh, the new African American Heritage Museum, uh, $6 million investment. And uh, if anyone has uh, seen that beautiful glass atrium connecting the Historical Society to Willingtown Square, uh, we've got the new Starbucks that just opened up a block from here. Uh, and I think what's really unique about this Starbucks uh, is that it's going to be open on Sundays and after hours. So I think that's a, a sign of, you know, the direction where the, where the city and the, and the downtown is, is headed. Um, I want to read off just a couple quick statistics about housing. Uh, 74 units uh, in the 600 block. 62 new units in the 900 block um, and 15 units in the 200 block, totaling $15 million. All that online uh, this year. Uh, new projects uh, coming online next year, uh, 15 units in the 600 block, six units in uh, the 800 block, and uh, 33 at 9th and Orange, uh, all totaling $15 million. And then um, in 2018, a uh, large transformative project, 200 units, the residents at Midtown, five levels of underground parking, uh, $70 million project. Um, and also that year, the historic Cooper Furniture Building uh, in the 200 block of King Street will be renovated, and that'll have six new units in it. Um, also, I think some of you have probably seen, uh, already announced, uh, four new restaurants in the, uh, the, the uh, six block stretch from here up to Rodney Square on Market Street. Um, so that's, that's really exciting. Um, and I think it's gonna uh, lend a lot to sort of the destination for, for Market Street as well as um, having important amenities for our new residents downtown. Um, so again, you know, I, I just thank you so much to AIG and, um, and, and everybody that John mentioned that has a hand uh, in projects like this, as, as well as in keeping our city um, safe, clean, and a great place to live and work. Have a great day. I, I would now like to take uh, this opportunity to introduce uh, Dan Donahue. Dan Donahue is a vice president with AIG Global Real Estate. Dan is the guy responsible for this building, and so we'd like to invite him up here to say a few words. Hi everybody, thanks so much. Um, you know, AIG has, uh, has been in the Wilmington market, I, I think for over about uh, 45 years. Um, we had a building up on Market Street and uh, in the 1980s, we decided to build this building uh, for our life insurance operations. Uh, we later sold those operations to MetLife, who's our tenant today. Uh, MetLife took the business uh, and left us the building. And we needed to decide what we were going to do with, uh, with 600 King. And AIG does what it always does. It picks itself up and it puts a team together to restructure the building and put it back on the market and re-tenant the building. And it looks absolutely, absolutely fabulous. I'd really like to thank uh, the folks at uh, CB, TV Ball, Wilson Construction, uh, and everybody who uh, was able to put this building uh, back together, and it, it really looks fabulous. And thank you uh, for the city of Wilmington. Um, we're really happy to, to be out here today. Thanks again.
Okay, and the last thing that's going to separate us between having lunch is the ribbon cutting. So I'd like to invite any of our city and state representatives, um, AIG obviously, MetLife, uh, k l Gates, White & Williams, TV Ball Associates, Wilson, Bell Engineering, and CBRE, if we could just come in front here, or maybe in front of the door. Um, thank you to Downtown Visions for letting us borrow your scissors, because uh, they are real scissors, and uh, we'll, we'll use those for the maybe ribbon cutting. So maybe we can kind of form a line over here. Two, um, one. Yeah, maybe you... All right. Okay.